Welcome to our lesson about the eDrawings Measure Tool. Let's begin by going to the File menu. Select Save As. Under Save As Type, let's choose eDrawing Document. Now let's click Options. Make sure OK to measure this eDrawings file is checked. Otherwise, the Measure Tool will be disabled in eDrawings. Let's cancel out of the Options window now. Here's an open eDrawing document. Let's begin by selecting the Measure Tool tab. Now click on Activate Measure. Under Units, we're able to specify the type of unit we'd like to use for both distance and angle. For distance, we can use millimeters, centimeters, meters, inches, and so on. Under Angle, we can choose between degrees and radians. Up above here, we have selection filters that allow the selection of faces, edges, vertices, and holes. Let's try the edge filter. That's the one second to left. Now I'm going to select an edge in my graphic area. Edge 1 appears under the Selected Items list, and under Results, we see a length dimension of 21 millimeters. If I select the edge again, it becomes deselected. Let's unselect the edge filter and now click on the hole filter. I'm going to select this hole and this hole. We're shown the distance between the two holes as 28 millimeters. We also see in the results window that the items are parallel and we're given the delta values for the x, y, and z coordinates. Let's go to File now and select Save As. When we save an eDrawings document, we have a checkbox here, Enable Measure. Check here to Enable Measure. Let's cancel out of the Save As window. If the Measure tool is disabled, we're going to see the icon down at the bottom of the screen with a cross through it. And this concludes our lesson about using the Measure tool in eDrawings.